Rollover alert today for Arbob, Silver, and we have one more soybeans. Let's take a look at these. I keep track of a continuous contract in TradeStation. So you see the at S symbol for soybeans. And when you do that, you see the orange C. I call this the orange C method of rollover. And so what you can do if you have TradeStation is you can keep a, a track of all the continuous contracts in a separate workspace. Look for the orange C. And then when, you show, when it shows up, you right-click and apply the data correction. And what happens oftentimes is you'll see up here in the upper blue bar, let me get the pen out and show you, you see July up here. July of 20 is where the current contract is, but when you do the data correction, I'm going to show you that right-click, apply correction, and it goes to November. Do you see that? You see how that changed there? Um, the July JUL changed to NOV, November of 2020, which is the X symbol. So SX20, and you put an at sign in front of that to back adjust for all the continuous contracts, is the next contract month for soybeans. I'm going to go over the, the other two markets now. So for RBOB, same thing. You want to right click, apply correction. And it goes from August up here. It was actually July. It was it was JUL. I didn't point that out, but this was JUL, and then it changed to August. And so it's going to update all the data. And your symbol would be at RB Q two zero. This is in TradeStation. In in a in Ninja Trader, it would be RB. 08-20 and in NinjaTrader uh, the soybeans would be ZS 0 no it wouldn't be it wouldn't be that it's it's November so it'd be ZS 11 20 and so some platforms use ZS for soybeans others use S and so this is going to update and then we will go over to silver. So you can see the chart is updated. You have August the 2020. Your actual automation symbol, like, like we talked about, would it be at RBQ20 or RB08-20 in NinjaTrader. And let's go over to silver now. Here's the silver workspace. See the orange C? You have all the orange Cs up in the upper left-hand corner of the chart. So like I'm saying, if you keep a separate workspace with just all the continuous contracts, check it every day for this orange C, you'll see it's on July, July of 2020, all of them, all of them say that, July of 2020, July of 2020, and the orange C is right here on all of them. So what do we do? We right click, apply correction. And you see it go to September. We're on September silver now. When you um, when you format the symbol, you go format symbol, and then I do it again, format symbol, and then I go close, and then sometimes it'll update again. So sometimes it's important to close the workspace and reopen it. You want to make sure the historical trades show up by viewing the performance summary. So for example, if you want to uh, so view strategy performance report, Right there, and this strategy, these have short windows. <clears throat> short windows, so the performance can be short windows, so the performance can be either really good or really bad um, in a very short window. So some of these silver some of these silver strategies are really good, good results on those three in the short term. And these, these, this is just this is the last seven months. And we haven't updated these, so we need to update these first, actually. So you want to apply data correction to all your windows, or if you close the workspace and reopen it, it will automatically be corrected when you do that since you already applied it once. And so that's a quick video on how to manage rollovers. We backtest on continuous contracts, and so um, I track these continuous contracts, and when these continuous contracts change with the orange C, and you see the new uh, the new month in the blue bar up here, September, then you know it's time to roll up.